What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace Honey. And today, I got me some new stuff to try out. So, I got quite a few new things. I'm trying to pull them all out to show y'all. So, of course, y'all know I told y'all I got the Star um, Glow Filter or the Glow Star Filter, whatever, y'all. I got this. It's coming soon to a Sephora near me. I'll try to put the clip over my face right here of when it shows up. So the Dior Star Glows are coming to a Sephora near me soon. As you can see, they already have this display set up. Then I went to my Walmart and found the last blur screen from NYX. Shout out to my girl Karen Harris. She talked about this on her new makeup release and she said she didn't pick it up. I was like, say less Karen. I went in there and got the last one off the shelf. Now it was dirty and gross and disgusting. Like a whole bunch of product was stuck underneath here. But the thing is, this was actually sealed around the top. So it was just on the plastic on it. So that's the only reason I'm going to Because child, it looked disgusting. If y'all had saw, I didn't take a picture because it was gross. But like if you had seen child, child. Anyway, next I got the short Tilbury <laughs> Magic Hydration Mist for radiant skin. So I'm going to probably use this with the primer just so we can try it out. Because since it's supposed to be a radiant mist, I'm feeling it's like supposed to be more like the Tatcha, like the dewy skin mist or whatever. I'm feeling like it's supposed to be more of that vibe. Don't quote me because I'm not 100%. But in my mind it is. So that's what we're going with. Thank you. Um, so... Yeah, then of course y'all know I had to get my Patrick Ta. So I got the shade She's the Moment. How you doing? And then I got two glosses. So I, I swore I had only bought one, but when I went to Sephora, he said I bought two. So I was like, say less, honey. Okay, whatever. So I got the shade Need Help and I got the Need uh, shade Obviously. Those are the two I wanted. I did swatch like three shades. So I'll try to put the picture over my face now of three shades that I did swatch because I swatched um, the two darkest shades and then the shade I have here obviously just because I was like they look a little too similar and I might have found a dupe for these already so you know you're just gonna have to watch somebody's cute little shorts on YouTube or you know like follow the Joe Beauty 7 on Instagram which you should be doing anyway because that's where you get to see and this type of stuff because I'm gonna do that video another time I'm just trying to get all this new stuff out the way first that I'm showing you so I'll try to have stuff pop up on the side of my face somewhere around here about what the product is because my phone is over there and I got like an hour to film this and I still gotta have an hour to drive back home to make sure I pick up Adrian Gabe over from school on time so I just mommy don't have time to play I'm gonna show you all the difference between the two blushes though because I have the one and she's that girl and I felt like it might look close to um she's the moment so I wasn't sure, so I was like, let me go ahead and just pull it on out, girl. We can have, you know, cute little moment with the moment. How about that? Huh? And then the other shade, the newest one he came up with, that lighter, rosiest taupe shade they're calling it. To me, it looks really similar to she's, what is it? She's flushed, and it just looks like it's for lighter skin tone. So I feel like this collection is supposed to be for a lot from more of the fair to light and possibly medium category when it came to it. But that's okay. So here's what both of those look like. So as you can see, this one pulls a little bit more, um, I guess, pinky salmon. And to me, this pulls a little bit more corally, like peach. So that's the difference between the two. Um, after I put it, this one on my face, then I'll go ahead and swatch it alongside this one. And, you know, have the little B-roll or whatever the hell they call it. I think that's what it's called. That's what it's called, right? B-roll. I don't ever do them, so I, I don't know the terminology, child. You think I would. So I'm excited about the star glow. Honey, honey, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on one side of my face on its own just to see how it wears on its own. Because it's giving to me a little bit of glittery vibes in the picture it did. But now it's not looking as glittery, thank goodness. So I'm going to do half my face with just this on it. Like I would wear like um, the shawl tuber and add a foundation powder on top of it. And then the other side, I'm going to mix it in with my, um, my MAC foundation from Dior. So that's what we're going to do with this. And let's start with this in this Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm thinking about putting on my Charlotte Tilbury. Wait, I think I already did use this lipstick again. Yeah, Icon Baby. I already used Icon Baby, so I'm not gonna use that again. I used it in another video. I don't know which one it was. Child, don't start me to lie. Me zoom you in now, cause girl, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm trying to rush. I've been out since I dropped Adrian Game over at school at 7:50. This wait, no, close to 8 o'clock this morning. So I sat in front of the post office at 8:30 and waited for them to open so that way I could get my um. Let's see what the consistency of this is like. Did I tell you what SPF was in this child? SPF 30. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find like anywhere where this is. Cause remember, they don't have this at Ulta yet. Cause I went to Ulta first and then I remember Karen saying it was at Walmart. So then that's when I went to Walmart. So I don't know that I'm gonna have the information on this. Hopefully they already have it up on their website to where I can just, you know, pull it off there. I don't know. Cause y'all know like with the radiant um, 
It's boosters from Julius Place. Like they just dropped what the Thursday or Wednesday. So it's like I can get with this one it might be a situation where I have to tell y'all later about what the claims are on it because I don't know because it's not, you know. And I'm curious to see if it's gonna get the cast because you know it has sunscreen in it, but I figure since it doesn't have a any coloring to it, it should be fine. And I shouldn't have any sort of white cast, if you will, but you know. Oh, it just goes on like a simple primer. I think it did an okay job of blurring pores. I always feel like the pores on my side of my, this side of my face are bigger than the ones on this side of my face. And I always feel like whatever primer I use smooths out this side better than this one. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head, but that's how I always feel. So, you know, I'm just telling you. So let's see how the mist on Miss Charlotte is looking. Okay, she looks she looks cute. Okay. A little forceful there, but you know. Mm. Oh, she does feel lovely and hydrated in that I will give her that. that. That was very lovely. I'm just sponging it in. Why? I don't know. I just cause I want the hydrator in my face and I prefer to just sit on top. So I probably should have did that first. But oh well, it's too late. It's too late. I'm here, you're here, we're all here, it's too late. So I picked that up at Bloomingdale's and I picked up, um, what else did I pick up from Bloomingdale's? I picked up that and a couple of other things. I don't know if I did a haul on those things yet or not. But I'm really enjoying like the way this smells and how it feels on the face. I can't say that. So I was watching the um the thing everybody's been watching or whatever or talking about because I've seen a few people talking about it something they Risa Risa Tisa or something like that I think it is like it was talking about the um situation between her and so for um this side was just the star glow on it or the forever glow star filter I'm gonna use the stippling brush and then I have a regular brush for the foundation to blend it in a little bit better but anyway back to what I was saying so that's why I have my ear in if you can't see I um. I was listening to her, and I think I listened to like, I think she said I'm on episode 8 or 9. It's one of those two. But I heard that's like 35, and I'm like, I feel like it's Star Kelly, and I'm trapped in the closet with all these like chapters or whatever. So I'm like, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's an interesting story. It's like, she sounds like she lived in a soap opera with this like man, and I'm just like, oh, okay. So. I mean, like she said, there were some red flags. Cause like some stuff she said, I'm just like, it just sounded like a lie. But you know, I'm not here to judge, you know. I'm just supposed to be here listening to the stories. I'm just, you know, I'm listening to the story. But I'm interested to see, have y'all listened to this story yet? And what, how do you feel about this story? Cause I'm just over here like, uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I'm just glad when she found out he was lying or whatever, that she, you know, didn't, um, Necessarily confront him right away. Unless you didn't get mad and upset because like y'all gonna be good for you and the baby, honey, because you know. And that's what my whole concern was. And I feel like that was like her concern too, in addition to the other point she pointed out about him like paying for everything out. So she, you know, was like she um he paying for everything and you know, all she gotta do is worry about herself and all that, so she let it slide. I'm like I was concerned about her having stress and the baby and all that since she ended up losing it later, so that was my reasoning for her not like really trying to confront him when it comes to all that because like you know you don't need a stressful pregnancy like she said she's up there in the age when it came to the pregnancy so she didn't want to you know, risk it basically and i'm like yeah i totally understand so i was feeling that and you know i was like so i wonder if she looks at and i don't mean to like sound defensive in any way but i was like i wonder if she looks at like losing out on the baby as like a blessing in disguise because of the type of person like you know he's sounding like he is and her having dated him early on and not you know like being able to like decipher all the warning signs i'm just mixing both the shades together so i'm wondering how she's you know i wondered how she felt about like did she feel like that was like a blessing in disguise from the lord that she didn't have to be tied to this man forever after he pulled all this stuff in the story she was telling because i feel like it's gonna end up twisting to where it's like he was not what he claimed to be when it came to his job and like he might have still been married to somebody else that had a whole nother girlfriend or whatever and that's why he couldn't show up like he's supposed to and all this other stuff so i'm thinking um that's how this thing is going to twist and turn out but i'm curious to know what you all think down below honey because i'm just over here with like with the tea just hot and fresh just waiting like yeah give me all the tea girl give, give it all 
Oh baby, give it all to me. Give me all, give me all. Like girl, give me all the tea. Yeah. I need to know. So let's blend this out. I feel like I look a little orange. That's what I hate about wearing this foundation alone. But I was too lazy to get the yellow, um, what do you call it on? The um, yellow corrector I use from e.l.f. to like blend it in and try to match it up and all that. I was like, I just can't be bothered today. Plus, I feel like that would have messed up the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the, the glow filter, the star filter, or whatever they're calling this. So I didn't want to like, you know, insert it in there. So, so far, I don't see too much of a difference. I mean, I see more coverage on my face, obviously. But I feel like my face looks more red with, um, the foundation and it than just it on its own. So I'm kind of not liking the fact that it looks red with this. But it's like, I could have, when I put my color... Um, correcting drops into the other ones, I feel like it won't look like this. So in the future when I use this and those, I feel like it'll look better, but right now I just feel like I'm red and crazy. But you know, we're gonna put some powder and some seal on, we just gonna have to pray through it, girl. We just gonna have to pray. Pray on through it. So I'm liking the coverage of this side better just because it has, you know, like more coverage and this is like you know little like your skin but better like i feel like you see all the imperfections on my face but i do like the color of this one better because it doesn't have that cast or that red undertone that the um the dior foundations normally have when you buy dior forever now when you buy um dior backstage it doesn't have this issue i have going on with it being too red the dior backstage is perfect so i'm like what are y'all doing with the dior backstage that you're not doing with the dior forever because every dior forever foundation i have always looks red and i always have to put like the yellow pigment drops in it and it's like since they only sell them in neutral it's like kind of hard for me not to do that so we're gonna take the dior concealer in the shade for warm olive as you can see i've used quite a bit of mine mine is halfway gone but I figure we use as much Dior as we can in this video, child, because, you know, I love me some Dior. So, I do have the um, powder. I don't know if it's in here or if it's in the bathroom, though. So, I might have to go in the bathroom and get it out, girl. And just come back to y'all to show it, because uh, y'all know I like to set the face on camera when I'm using stuff like this. So, it's going to be one of those videos, like, I go all the way through and just show all my whole face. But, how far have y'all gotten with the story? Have you listened to the whole story? Because I heard the lady got a whole bunch of, like, followers and stuff off it. I'm using way more concealer than usual because, like, you know, I'm trying to get it to color correct as much of my face as possible. Because y'all know I haven't done it, like, that far down when it comes to concealer in a while. But it's like I'm trying to, you know, get my coloring together because this is the place I need the most coverage because y'all know I have a lot of dark spots from popping pimples on my cheeks when I was in high school. So that's why I usually bring a lot of concealer down here. But I just realized I didn't bring concealer brush. Oh, the foolishness. And then I just wash. Oh, wait, no, I do. Never mind. Sorry. False alarm, false alarm, false alarm. But yeah, so I'm like, mm. so I'm just turning to the front to blend concealer on this side and underneath the eye. And then I'll turn, leave it on this side for the original side that I used it on. But yeah, so I'm like, it's very interesting. And I'm just like, What's next, ma'am? What's next? And I'm genuinely curious, like, how many people have actually listened? I heard, like, somebody tracked the man down and, like, exposed who he was and whatever had, like, pictures of him and everything else just based upon, like, her giving, like, a description of him or whatever. And I was just like, oh, wow. And I heard he's, like, supposed to be trying to sue her for defamation of character and all because he said she's lying on his name and, like, the stuff she's saying happened didn't happen. But they're saying, like, she has proof because she said she's recording stuff, like, close after the time when she first got pregnant. Like, she just started recording stuff. And I'm like, okay. I thought that was interesting, too. But, like, she supposed to have all these recordings talking about him doing stuff he had no business doing. And all of a sudden, like, ooh. How you gonna explain that way, sir? Like, you can't, you know, you can only explain it somewhat. Oh, wait, so how do you explain the way these recordings and these eyewitnesses are coming out and talk to her? And then I heard, like, the ex-wife came out, too, and I was like, oh, Lord, she must really not like you. And my whole thing is, like, when he's saying these stepkids, I'm like, so are they really stepkids? Are they your kids and you just lying because you thought she wouldn't want to talk to you if you found that you had kids? Like, because low-key, I feel like that's part of the story, too, that, like, he lying about having, um, stepkids or stepkids i should put in air quotes because i feel like he's lying and they're his actual kids so i'm like i feel like you got actual kids out here and you just lying and calling them stepkids lest you i'm gonna take the brush now lest you look like a dysfunctional human being i mean like everybody falls short though so it's not like just like try to down him in any way it's just more like since you lying about all the other stuff it's like i feel like there's just no limits to the lies so i'm just coming up with things that i think you're even lying about because you just you know since you're just out here lying you know. 
since he just keep lying, y'all. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just some more lies with your lies, cause you know that's what we doing apparently. I'm just glad she hasn't. Well, as far as I've heard, she hasn't got like a whole bunch of backlash like other people have. Cause I'm like, the internet is a scary place sometimes because people can go in there and say anything and just run off and like, you know, you have to live through this stuff and with this stuff and it's like, you just making fun and talking crap about other people making yourself feel better for day and going off with your life. Cause that can seriously affect, you know, like their mental state for so you know like i feel like sometimes people don't think about that they're just like oh it's a fun joke i get to laugh at someone else's expense and go on my day and feel better about myself listening to stuff i heard on the internet because sometimes i genuinely feel like that's how people feel about stuff like when you talk about stuff that happens in your life it's like good thing that didn't happen to me i'm gonna poke fun about you having this issue and then i'm gonna go on my day ha 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 whatever well y'all the battery decided to flash so i guess it got tired of hearing the story i'm gonna go off camera and Get a new battery, then I will come back with the Dior powder and um, a powder for underneath my eyes. Although I'm thinking we probably just gonna go in with this LYS. Oh, P.S. I got the LYS blush. Where is it? Oh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. That's why I didn't show it to you. But yeah, we just gonna go in with this LYS powder underneath the eyes, and then we're gonna put the um, Dior powder on the face. Then I'll come back to y'all when it's time for the um, blush. But I'm gonna do bronze offline. Okay, y'all, so get into this powder. I just got the shade Ambition, which is medium tan. So it's just a yellowish banana type shade. I'm gonna pat underneath these eyes real quick and cute light girl. So I'm gonna just switch the brush from side to side. So I'm gonna start off with this side for this side, and then this clean side we'll do for the other side. But since I have to set the most on this side, I'm gonna get this side set the quickest. I was so upset they didn't have the blush I wanted. So like I wanted the um, what do you call that blush? Um, the, the orange one, remember I told you I wanted the, um, what is it, the, um, berry toned, and then the orange blush from NYS. So what ended up happening was, they don't have the orange blush on Sephora's website. Why? I don't know. But they had every color except the orange one I wanted. Because at first I was like, oh yeah, I see an orange, whatever, I see the orange in the picture, cool. So I just grabbed it. Then I realized it wasn't the orange that I wanted. So I want the bright orange. They had like more peachy tone orange as before. And I was pissed because I'm like, what? Like, what? Why don't you have this? Like, why Why don't you have this? And I ordered it the um, day before. And the shipment hadn't come in yet. So, I mean, sorry, they hadn't put it on sale for yet, I guess. Or like scanned in the stock. Cause when I got in the store, like it was literally at the front of the store, all the stuff I had ordered online the day before, like, well, two of the things I had ordered online the day before, like let's stop. And I'm like, honey, um, what, what the hell? And the guy was like, oh yeah, we just got our order in today. So he's like, you ordered it yesterday, but we hadn't like, you know, got our shipment in. We got it in this morning. And that's why, you know, you got it today. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I had to buy it off the shelf, which sucks. Cause right now they got like 500 points going on. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get like these extra 500 points because obviously I done bought like this lip gloss, uh, two lip glosses, a blush, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, two lip glosses and two blushes and it was like a hundred and like 20 some dollars. So I'm like, yeah, I'm set to get my like, you know, 500 points because like I try to save up the points and then y'all know when the Sephora um, cards come with them that I hooked that up. But I'm like, I couldn't even do it because they ran out of my stuff. Where's my brush? So I'm gonna take this, um, Peach and Lily brush from Andrea Renee's collection. And it's just a flat top kabuki. I'm going to take it and pat the face down. So. And I was scared of this pat on for a while because it was so damn light. But like once you sit it on the face, it actually works out and looks quite nice. So I'm like, okay. I was concerned for a little bit. The other side, I think I'm gonna just press it in with like one of those, what do you call them? Um, powder, um, powder puffs. This is what they call them because it comes with a Dior powder puff with this. So I think I'm just gonna do that, but yeah, so, so I am not getting my points. So I told the guy, and then the girl's like, Oh, yeah, well, their points didn't go through because you know we didn't have the stuff in store today. So she's like, You can spend 20 more bucks. I'm like, Lady, I'm not spending 20 more bucks. I already spent 122 dollars in here just for these four things because I had to buy two on their own and I had to turn around and buy two, you know, order two from you. And you didn't have any so I'm like, I'm not buying $20 worth of stuff. I already bought it and you just didn't have it. 
So she's like, they're like, oh, you can call customer service and get the points. I'm looking like, it's not that big a deal about the points for me. I don't care. My whole thing is like, I just want to go spend any more money when I already spent this amount of money. Like, honey, no. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So I'm just taking this Sephora Puff by you and just, yeah, press it in. But I try to go to Sephora to crack it down. That's the one place I'll be like an old lady. I'm trying to be up in there when they open, okay? Because look here. I don't want to deal with Sephora kids. I just, I don't. I'm not trying to have any Sephora children up in there at all. Just no. No, no, no. No. So I'm like, yes. Ooh, honey, the face. See, but I told y'all, I told you once I put the powders and stuff on it, but calm down when it came to that. So I'm gonna go off camera now and put me on some cute little bronzer. I'll tell you what bronzer I used when I came back. I meant to bring my Dior one to use, but I forgot and left it at home. Then we will get into Patrick and his blush. So I'm thinking about putting one of these on each side just so we can see on the skin or some of my skin tone how similar they look. And then I will obviously swatch them on the back of my hand so you can see how they're working. So. Let me go bronze and then I'll be right back. So far I'm liking the way everything's looking, you know. The um I feel like it blurred in here nicely. Now I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the sun protection and all that, but we'll just have to wait and see. And I might show you the dupes at the end of the video. We'll have to wait and see when it comes to these lip gloss. Be right back. Okay, y'all, so let's get in to paint your top blushes. So I'm gonna start off with the new one called She's the Moment. This one right here. So if you know you're supposed to put the powder on first, then you're supposed to put the cream on top. If you're new to Patrick Ta, he says the method that he thinks you should use is you put the powder on first and then you put the cream on top to get that like kind of glow effect, if you will. So I'm gonna start off with this She's the Moment blush shade and see how this works. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm loving the color on this. As usual, Patrick is done again, darling, and it looks stunning. So I'm not gonna use this brush to put the cream on. I have two highlighter brushes with similar shapes that I'm just gonna go ahead and use to put the cream on. So I'm going to use this one from Real Techniques and just put the cream on top. Give the extra an effect that it's supposed to give because this is how you're supposed to get the glowy effect from his blushes you put like the cream on top of the powder which was interesting to me because it's like i would never thought to like flip it you know you usually think you're supposed to set like a a cream with the powder not put the cream on top of the powder but it looks stunning as you clearly see i'm giving all of a lovely Patrick top so let me swatch these two shades first i'm gonna swatch the cream first I shouldn't have done, well, I would say I did take my pictures first because I would say I shouldn't have done that before I did my pictures, but I remember to take my pictures first. Y'all, bravo me. I was really outside Sephora doing this. I'm just going to have to remember to keep these swatches on my hands so that way I can take the pictures when I go out to the car on my way to go get Adrian Game Over. So here is what it looks like swatched on my hand. This is the cream and this is the powder. Remember the first one I just swatched was She's a Moment because we're about to get into the other one, which is called She's That Girl and see what the difference is between them. But I like this shade. The other shade I was kind of interested in too, but I was like, I'll wait to the sale because I usually just reach for the first holiday palette he came out with the most or like the newer ones he came out with during, um, I think spring of last year just because they're like deeper in tone. And obviously those deeper tones will work better for me. So I have another brush to use. We're gonna use this brush for the one I told you called She's That Girl. I'm gonna put that on. I was just genuinely curious to see what the difference with these two colors are gonna be on my personal skin tone. And I figured people with my skin tone might be interested as well. So that's why I picked the color I picked. I felt like it would be the most flattering for someone with my skin tone the one I would get the most use out of, especially since it's like spring and summerish time coming. So yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like I feel like on the skin these are looking similar, but like in the pan, I feel like they look differently. But I thought on the skin these would look kind of similar. I'm feeling like this is one giving a little bit, a little bit more pink though. But maybe when I put the cream on, they look equal. I don't know. They're just giving very similar to me. And I usually like to pat on the powder because like people with oily skin, y'all know like 
our face is equally blush and then I'm supposed to put this cream on top of it which probably isn't helping this situation and then I have a Dior highlighter that I'm going to put on so I have the late great Mel Thompson's favorite Dior highlighter quad which is this one I'm trying to decide if I want to just put on this peach highlighter right here or if I want to put on the bronzy one that's next to it I don't know but I'm thinking I want to pick mix like these two together right here and make those be a highlight but I think that peach one's supposed to be a blush but obviously it's not going to be blush for some of my skin so let's get into this cream now and put that on the face and remember i have a whole nother brush just for this cream to make sure we're not contaminating mixing things together but okay now i'm seeing the difference the cream is what's making the difference because the cream is making this one look a little bit more on that salmony pink color that i was telling you about whereas i feel like this one's still giving that like peachy -ish glow so now i can see the difference like this is giving more salmony pink this is giving more corally orangey pink i guess i mean i'm not here gonna play it i like both sides you know but it's really cute or whatever so let's go ahead and swatch this one now remember we're swatching she said girl now so i'm starting off with the she said girl cream again she's definitely pulling more pink automatically and see what the difference is that they're giving. So this is what we're working with. So these two are the moment and these two are she's that girl. She's the moment and she's that girl. What are we thinking? I'm thinking I like both. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just mix the peachy one and this one together. I don't remember which one is loose, that's why I was holding it the way I was holding it, because I'm like, last thing I need is you know stuff to just be falling on the floor, fifty dollar things falling on the floor. I don't like the idea of that. So ooh, yes, yeah, honey. Quite pigmented as you can see, but remember. The peachy shade is actually supposed to be a blush for someone else's skin tone. I just use it as a highlighter because I feel like it won't be a blush on my skin tone. So, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's cute. I go in with a lot of the peach first and then I just lightly put the um, shimmery shade across from it on top. And just go in with the face and that's how it looks like so pigmented. But still has that nice glowy effect that you see going on. So, I'm here for it. You know, she's cute. It's cute. I definitely like the way it looks on top of the blush too. I feel like that peachy glowy blush from um, Dior would look stunning on top of like a peach blush that's like made for some of my skin tone. So basically like if I had on the um, the marigold shade from Juvia's Place that was in the Radiance Boost video and then I put this, um, what do you call it? If I put this peachy blush on top of it, I feel like that would just be a stunning look. All we gotta do now is put on a lip, girl. So I swear we at the end. So I'm gonna do one lip today and then one lip tomorrow. So you'll get another lip tomorrow. I um, think I'm testing the Radiance Booster against um, the Elf tomorrow. The Radiance Booster from Juvia's Place against Elf tomorrow. I feel like that's my plan. Or I might be doing the dupe video that um, what a lock maiden asked me about when she asked about what's the difference between Louboutin and the Valentino. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow instead and I'll just film the Elf one like Sunday. I'll film the intro to the Elf tonight so that way Sunday I can just do my outro for that. But I really want to get the um, Louis Vuitton one done so let's uh, spray my face. So I'm just going to use one I already had before and then we're going to get into this lip. I do have a lip liner on already to save us some time. I have one on from Short to the, I think it's called Foxy Brown. Um, so y'all remember this blurring, magnifying, um, I mean spray. I'm trying to see if I have time for one eye look, y'all. I don't think I do, which sucks, because I'm like, I got the beat already done. I want to just get an eye done, too. So I might brush through and do an eye real quick and just leave it, too. But he does have, um, practice today. Like, um, what do you call it? Um, practice today so 
I'm thinking he should be done at like three instead of two, and then I can squeeze in the eye. Look, so, yeah, y'all, the beat looks nice. Like, I definitely feel like I see more coverage on this side, but in all fairness, it's being worn with a foundation on this side. And I thought it was important to do that because it's like I know some people use things like that as mixtures as opposed to just using it as a product, like myself. But I just felt like this was going to be too sheer as a product on its own, so I had to show y'all how she looked with a foundation. And plus, she's expensive, so I want to see how both sides work. Okay, so I'm going with the shade obviously because the eye look I plan on doing is actually kind of nude. I know, right? Who am I? But you know, I've really been wanting to play with this palette for a while, and I'm doing it in part of my new series, so. It's kind of on the new side with a, fun, a couple of fun pops of color, but let's put this on. So this is what we're working with. I'm giving very much my lips a better vibe, but y'all know. These are the type of glosses I like, especially when I have like a regular lipstick to put on. I love to just put like a color like this on top. Now, I don't really necessarily care about the plumping sensation that it has going on. I don't feel like it's really spicy or like intensely plumping though, like they say the Too Faced ones are. I've never tried the Too Faced ones, so I don't know, but this is the shade Obvious. I'm gonna swatch the other shade that I have. I think it's called Need Her. Cause I didn't know, I didn't realize I had bought that shade. I thought I didn't buy that shade. And then I found out I had and I was just like, oh, okay. Cause I was looking at it and I was like, I kinda like it, but I remember not necessarily being crazy about the slip gloss formula. And I think that's why I didn't like, think I necessarily needed Need Her. But you know, I ended up buying it cause it was a mall, but I was there and it was there and everyone was there. Plus I wanted to have a shade just in case they didn't have one shade. Sure enough, they didn't have the one that was on my lips. But when I went in the store, they had it. So this is Need Her. Right here, so. That's what we're working with. Need Her, obviously. She's the moment. These are the three new things. And then this is She's That Girl. And we're just comparing. So I want you to see what both look like on both sides. I'm going to go off camera, get my life in order, and I will talk to you later on tonight. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. This is the long day of work. It's like one to the noon. I fell asleep watching something after having this on all day. So this is what the face looks like. This is what we're working with. I don't have the other light on in the room. So it's just like the shadow. It's just literally the ring light. And that's it. Or should I said the glam core light. So this is what we're working with. Um, remember this is the side with the foundation. And this is the side with just the story glow. So. Um, I think it held up pretty well. Remember, we did not use a uh, mattifying powder in this area. And from what I remember, the Dior powder isn't mattifying around the face either. So, what we're working with, I feel like you can somewhat still see both the blushes, so that's good. I ate, so that's when my lipstick came off when I ate my taco. So, it lasted all day, too. It lasted till I got here, like, ate something to sit down and eat. And that's when it disappeared because I ate some food, so... Overall, I think all the stuff went pretty well. Um, I know I look quite woolly, but again, we didn't set with the powder, the primer. I think it still held up pretty well. I went outside in the sun, and then we had too many too too many complaints about it. So I'd say everything worked out nicely and turned out well. But you can comment down below what you think, because I think I looked pretty okay, all things considered. I just need to find some mattifying products to use with this as far as powders and primers in order to get the longevity I need with summer taco. But I'm telling like I'll just use the milk pour eclipse or I'll just use the Dior mattifying primer when I use this in the summertime along with some mattifying powders and we should be good so and that's all I have to talk to you about today with the face but first impression I like it okay I think I'm gonna just like it better mixing foundation because that's a little too sheer on this side 
but it looks nice if you like to wear products like this on their own as a quick out the door i feel like you like it for that um i feel like i'm just gonna prefer this with my dior foundations and that's it that's all i got to say girl but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds make sure you subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye